<coughs> yeah. Good day class. Uh, this is Agatha Tutorials online class. This is a video format. We have the we have the live session if you want the live session the video I mean of the class you can have the live session but this is a, a recorded video class for for today's class so uh, if you want to get me or for more information you can always call this number you can always call this number that's a detailed tutorials. A detailed tutorials. As you need like. So, you are located close to the place of Lagos in Akoka. So, you can call the line. That's 08025870093. Okay, so <coughs> shall be focusing on YX labels for mathematics. Shall be focusing on YX labels for mathematics. So, um, the essence of this is to prepare you adequately for the YX exam. If you can follow my arrangement, Obviously, your A is sure in YEC exam, in all the exam, either mathematics, physics, chemistry, further math, English, government account, all the subjects, all the major five subjects. So, it depends on how we take this. The video will be everywhere, to be everywhere, to be on YouTube, to be for the class also. So, uh, I would advise you to strictly watch and take notes like this this video is meant for a particular group of students so I advise you do what you you take notes and as i said you send the notes to me all right so we start from the first the very first topic section a in mathematics the very very first session and that's what number and numeration number and numeration okay that's the very first part of the YS labels which we're going to dissect in the next maybe one or two or three videos okay uh we have on that video you can see you can cut copy them in the first part of the syllabus which cut across all other areas <coughs> so you have number base modular arithmetic fraction decimal you can see the board these are the first parts in your syllabus strictly in the yx syllabus so i advise you to do what to stick to us uh, for this first session of the video, call this volume one. This is our very first edition. Volume one is the very first edition targeted towards my students, my white students in my group. So, but at the same time, it can be of benefit to so many Nigerian students, even West African students writing work. So. <coughs> I'll be taking the topic one by one, one after the other. I'll be explaining and I'll be, I'll be using YEC questions only. YEC questions only. Okay? We're going to solve all the, all the questions that are set on all these all over the years. So, if YEC has been for 20 years, we'll solve all questions on this for the 20 years. Okay? So just be just assured that what whatever we solve in the class is surely repeated in that exam. There's no choice because all questions are set already. So there is no question that is not set. All questions are already set. So if you can follow the flow of the class every day, you will see an improvement in your mathematics and other subjects. So let's start with the first one. So we don't talk too much. Let's start with the first one. In this video, I'll be giving you, you copy the notes, that's one. You'll be given assignment. You can pause the video if I'm too fast, you can pause. You can pause, you can pause and write what you want to write because I have to be fast, it's a video. So you can pause it and you can rewind. 
can go back to it to recopy what you don't understand or to listen again to what you do not hear very well. So, uh, I'm, I'll be giving assignments. I'll be giving assignments that we have to monitor my students in the group. I'll be giving assignments which you have to submit to me on the group. You have to submit it to me on the group and I will mark and return back to you. That's a way to check that what you are truly with, with us. Thank you. So let the class start. We start with number base. I'll be checking this, the topics one by one. You have to cram the topics. I want to to cram the topics. So I will start with I will start with number base arithmetic. Number base arithmetic. So, so just observe. When you say number base, you should just know the fundamental thing in number base. In every number base, individual number is always less than the base. Take that and take it and write it somewhere. Individual number is less than the base. For instance, if I give you two, three, five. The base of this number cannot be 2 again, cannot be 3 again, cannot be 5 again. It has to be what, something greater than each of the numbers. So I can say this 7, for instance. Yes, it's allowed. If I say 2, 3, 5, and I put this 4, I am wrong. Because 5 here is greater than the base. The base is always... The base is always greater than individual numbers. Take note of that. Very important. If I say 101, 111, of course, it's called a binary number. The binary numbers are just what? Two in number. Zero and one. These are called binary numbers. These are binary numbers. Zero and one are called binary numbers. So, the base of this one is usually base 2. Of course, 2 is still greater than any other number. We cannot have 102111 base 2. Now, I was expecting to ask that question. I was expecting to ask that question that what if they are not the same? What if the number A and the number A are the same? That is still not allowed. It's still not allowed. What I've said now is that what? The base should be greater than individual number. So this one is greater than each of these numbers. Okay? So that's what two is this is not possible. This is not possible because of these two. It's not possible. So you have, you have gotten that idea. So our uh, operation on number base shall we, we center on we will not do relevant things. There will be no relevant things at all. Strictly what's quiet that was required we know of obviously and if you have questions you have going to send to me you can send to me on WhatsApp. That's my WhatsApp number also. You can always follow it to me on WhatsApp. I will respond to you, sort of send back to you. Or I'll do that in the next video and put the correction there and be something brought for you. If you have questions, you feel that this should be addressed, don't worry. You are all covered. So let's go. So we have some operations in number bases. Operations. Operations in number base. Operation in number base arithmetic. Okay, so the operation we're focusing more on will be will be focusing on. Let us see this is also an operation conversion. We just stand as operation also conversion. Just take it like that. Nobody will ask you list the operations in number base. No, they will not ask you that. That's not what the exam is all about. The exam is all all about. So we can take conversion as an operation. We can take what addition as an operation. Addition and subtraction and subtraction as an operation. Just watch. You can take multiplication as operation. Multiplication as operation. I would have taken division, but instead of taking division, just convert it. And if I ask you for instance, divide 23 base 5 by uh, 3 base 4, for instance. We know that it's still 3. Okay, if I take out the convert 23 base 5 by 3 base 4. 
All you have to do is what? Convert this to base 10, convert this to base 10. So we just do compound it. We want to divide. We will not put division there. We want to have to divide. We we'll just convert to base 10. Once we convert to base 10, we can divide. And now, uh, what's it called? Once we convert to base 10, we can divide the numbers in base 10, then we, com we convert the answer back to the base they want. Okay? So, you can say you need your answer in base whatever. So, whatever they give you, let's just convert. We'll get there, don't worry, we'll get there. So, let's make a division out of it. Let's do conversion. There are two conversions we can have. Conversion can be from, can have conversion from other bases, other bases to be stained, to be stained. Just watch that. That's the first conversion we'll do. We are on conversion now. You see, we have conversion, addition, subtraction, multiplication. As I told you, I'm not going to dwell on any form of uh, relevant things. We'll focus strictly on the question where I require you to answer. So, if you want to convert from other bases to be stained, let's give an example. I ask you, convert 1, 0, 1 to 1, 1, base 2 to base 10. Just watch, please. If I say you convert what? Let's say 5, 3, 4, base 8 to base 10. If you want to convert from other bases to base 10, all you do is what? Just expand. Just what? Expand. To convert from other bases to base 10, just do an expansion of that number in the base indicated. I want to convert this question now. 1, 0, 1, 2, to base 10. Let's see it. What do we do? We just say what well, you start from here. This is 1, 0, 1, 1. This is 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay? This is base 2. Just say what? Well, P this one. 1 times the base. 2 raised power. This is 1 times this base. Raised power 3. Plus 0 times. That will give us 0 automatically. 2 raised power what? 2 raised power 2. That is this base power 2. And you have 1 times. This is 1. Then 2 raised power 1 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. Okay? So, I can make mistake in calculation. If I make any mistake, I'll correct me a little. So, I will just make a mistake in adding them. For instance, you have to just try to correct it. Or, if you are in doubt, you can ask me the question. So, this 1, 2 raised to 3, this is 0, 2 raised to 2, this is 1, 2 raised to 1, this is 1, 2 raised to 0. So, the answer will be what? Here will be this. 2 raised to 3 is what? This so 3 means 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 in 3 places, not 2 times 3. And that's what? 8. 0 times anything is 0. 3 times 1 is 1 is 2 times 1. That's 2. Plus 3 times 0 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And that's what? This is 11. This is 11 now in base what? In base 10. I just succeeded converting this thing from base 2 to base 10. That's the first thing we're doing. Conversion. Okay? That's conversion. Okay? That's conversion. Okay? That's conversion. We are seeing a number base. Number base. We just done the conversion there. If I ask you to convert, let's say number two. Convert two, three, one, four, base five to base ten. Please just watch. This is another one. I don't care the, what the base is. That's the second way of setting it. This what? This is binary. <coughs> this base two. This base what? Base five. Okay, let's convert it. What do you have? You're saying 0, 1, 2, 3. Just watch that. You have 0, 1, 2, 3. All you just do is what? You know what to do exactly. Is that what? You pick this 2 times this 5. Raise power 3. You pick this 3 times base 5. Raise power 2. You pick this 1 times 5. Raise power 1. You pick this 4 times 5. Raised power 0. That's it. 5 raised power of 3 is what? 5 times 5 times 5. That's 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5 times 2 is what? 250. If I'm not mistaken, please. You can always check to be sure it's correct. 5 squared is 25. Times 3, that would be 75. Okay, I think I'm correct. This is 5 times 1, 5. 5 raised power 0 is 1 times 4. That's 4. So you have, this is what? 80. 80 plus 250 is 330, that's 334. 
These things that fall to this world will be stained. You just succeeded combating what? Combating. Just watch this. We combated 101 base 2 to be stained. We gave us 11. This is called 11 base 10. This is not called 1011. No. This is called 1011. This is called 11 because it's base 10. Number in base 10, just call this by its name. This is not called 2314. No, that's wrong. It's called 2314. Why have you not taste that? Anyway, we just do it. <coughs> so I've done first one. I've converted 1011 base 2 to base what? To base 10. Maybe 11 base 10. I've converted 2314 base 5. It gave me 334 base 10. Okay? I want to convert another one. Look at this question. <coughs> Look at this question, everybody. You know, you can, you, can, you can always rewind this. You can always rewind this, okay? If I'm too fast, you can always just go back, release me again, and so on, okay? It's just a common thing, number base. Everybody knows number base, okay? So let's go to number three. Number three question. If I ask you to convert 2, 3, 1, 4, base 5 to base 8, to base 8. Now, this is not base 10. You know what we say? You can convert from other bases to base 10. That means these are the things you can do from other bases to base 10. From base 10 to other bases. That's what we know. If you now want to convert from base 5, this is from base 5, base 5 to base 8, not base 10. It's from base 5 to base, base 8, not base what? Not base 10. How do we convert this one now? Okay? We'll, now, we'll first take this from base 5, we'll take it to what? To base 8. So let's just say, Keep this one, you can try it yourself. 2, 3, 1, 4, base 5. Convert it to base 8. Let me see what the answer will be. You can try that one if I, if I do it. First thing you want, you convert from base 5. You want to convert from other bases to other bases apart from base 10. Base 5 to other bases, not base 10. So base 5 to base 8, base 5 to base 7, base 5 to base whatever. As long as it's not base 10, you will not expand like this. If it's base 10, if it's base 10, if you, have, if you go from other bases to base 10, just expand. If it's not base 10, you cannot expand. It doesn't work that way. So what do you do? Later we shall see that. But let's see the second part. <coughs> this is conversion of other bases to base 10, other bases to base 10, any other base here to base 10. Have in mind that every number here is not up to the base. The base is always greater than every number. Of all these others you might see. Oh, this, this is wrong. This is wrong. You should have told me. This is wrong. This should be base. This should be 6. The base should be greater than what? Every other number. This is wrong. It was wrong before I put 5, 5. So you cannot have 5, 5. So this is wrong. This was wrong before. Now you have put 6. The base should be greater than individual number. Thank you. So let's see. Let's see from the part B of it. The part B. Conversion. Conversion from base 10 to other bases. These are the two conversion possible to other bases. To other bases. You want to convert from base 10 to other bases. That means you may give the number in base 10. You want to go to the other bases. What do you do here in this case? Let's convert 11 base 10 to base 2. Remember, I want to reverse this. I want to go from base 10 back to base 2 now. You know the answer we get anyway. That's, the answer is, is, is so obvious on the board. The answer is so clear on the board. <coughs> you want to convert 11 base 10 to base 2. 11. I didn't say 1, 1. I said 11. What is base 10? 11 to base 2. What do you do here? If you are converting from other bases to base 10, you expand. If you are converting from base 10 to other bases, you divide. Here you divide. Here you divide. So let's go. You just say 11 and put 2 here. So let's go. 2 in 11. Of course, you know it's 5. It will remain 1. 2 in 5. You know it is what? 2. It will remain 1. You can see, you can see 2 twos in 5. 2 in 2. You know, you know it is 1. It will remain what? Nothing. That's 0. 2 in 1. You know it's nothing. There's no, you cannot see 2 in 1 again. So 0. Remain that what? That 1. All you do now, you just take it all from here. That's 1, 0, 1, 1. This what? This 2. You just converted what? 11 base 10 to base 2. You can see that I divided. I did a division, a long division. Okay? Okay, so let's see number 2. Number 2. We have, let's convert 2, 3, 1, 4, base 5 to, okay, sorry. 
3, 3, 4, base 10 to base 5. To base 5. What do you do? You know, when you combine to base 2, you divide, by, you divide 7 by 2. So here we do what? You divide this 3, 3, 4. 3, 3, 4 eh, by 5. How do you do it? Get a calculator, please. Get a calculator. I, I think I should have a calculator. Excuse me. <coughs> so we need a calculator there. You can see you have what? You have 3, 3, 4 divided by 5. It's giving us 66. 66. You now check. 5 times 66 should be what? Should be 330. So we need that what? We need that 4. To remain 4. To remain 4. Then you will again 5. 5 is 66. 5 and 6 is 1. 5 and 16 is 3. That would be 65. It will remain what? 1. 5 and 13 is what? 2. To remain 3. 5 and 2, nothing. To remain what? To start 2. So you take it up like this. So you have what? You pick the first one like this. So you get 3, 2, 3, 1, 4, base 5. So to convert 3, 3, 4, 334 to base 5. Just divide this thing by 5. Divide this thing by the 5. You can see. And you pick up this one. All these are the remainders. You pick them out. Alright, that's that on that. So can someone now try this one for me? Okay. <coughs> you have understood that to go from base 10 to other base, you divide. You divide. To go from other base to base 10, you do what? You expand. Okay, that's the So let's see the let's see the, the one I gave you. This doesn't follow anywhere. It's just a an application 2315 base 6 to base 8. All you just is what 2315 base 6 should go to base 10 first. From base 10, go to base 8. That's it. You go from where you can only go from you know, you can only go from other bases to base 10 and base 10 to other bases. That's what you can do. Okay, so what do you do from other base bases to base 10? What do you just do? You just say what 2 3. Oh, sorry, base 10. To go from base 6 to order to base 10, what do you do? Do you expand or you divide? You know we expand. This is expand. We expand here. To go from base 10 to order base, you know what we do now? From base 10 to order, what do you do? We divide. We divide. So let us do 2, 3, 1, 5, base 6. Let's go to base 10 first. To 10. Let's go to base 10 first. Let's go to, to base 10 first and let's see what happens. So what do you have? 0, 1, 2, 3. So what do you have here? So we have 2 times 6 raised power 3 plus 3 times 6 raised power 2 plus 1 times 6 raised power 1 plus 5 times 6 raised power 0. Okay? You can see 6 raised power 3 is what? That should be 2, 1, 6. Okay? Am I right? 6 raised power 3 should be 2, 1, 6. Yes, it should be 216 times 2, that should be 532. I mean, 432, I mean, it's 432 plus 6 square. 6 square is 36 times 3, that's 108 plus 6 plus 5. This one, nice one, like this. You can see. Okay, so that's 432 plus 108 plus 6 plus 5, and that's what? So what do you have there? 432. Oh, I'm correct. 6 squared is 36 times 3, that's 108. So just add them. So plus 108, plus 108, plus 6, plus 5. So you get 551. Five, this 551 five, is in base 10. Don't forget. Do not take that 551 five, from base 10 to base 8. From base 10 to base 8 now. What do we do to go from base 10 to base 8? We divide. To go from base 10 to other bases, we always divide. So this is division. So we have what? 5, 5, 1 divided by 8. So let's go. So you say 5, 5, 1 divided by 8. It gives us 68. 68. So you just check the remaining there. 8 times 68 is actually 5, 4, 4. So the remainder will be what? The remainder will be. 5, 4, this times this is 5, 4, 4. The middle will be what? Will be 7. To be 7. Okay? Then again, 68 divided by 8 is 8. This is 8. You divide again by 8. It's 8. 8 times 8 is 64. So we need that 4. 
So 8 again. 8 in 8 is 1. Remember what? Nothing. Then 8 in 1 is nothing. Remember what? 1. That 1. Bring it back. So the answer will be what? Will be 1047. This what? This 8. So please just take note of that. So the answer is 1047. This what? This 8. So let's quickly see. <coughs> Let's see addition and subtraction of number in different bases. Let's start to add, how to subtract, and how to what multiply. Okay, division. If you're asked to divide, I've told you, you know, any number, any number in this thing is the number we are used to. Our everyday number that we see every day is this thing. All the numbers that we know are in this thing. Good. So what do we do? Just look at this. Just look at this. Want to see addition and subtraction? Addition and subtraction. I want to pay attention to this. Addition and subtraction of numbers in different bases. Put it that way. Addition and subtraction of numbers in different bases. Now, what's the main concept of addition and subtraction? What's the main concept? The main concept. Is a what? Every number, every number you have should be less than the base. Oton. In the case where the number is more than the base, always put the remainder down. Every number is more than the base. I mean, sorry, every number is less than the base. In the case where it's proven like it's more than the base, just say, check how many of the base you can see in the number and do what? And Put the remainder down. Oh my dear, this you understand it now. Don't worry. Just look at it. Look at it now. Look at it now. Look at it. If I ask you to add, okay, let us do normal. What we do every day. What we do normally every day in our house, our, our, our in our various homes, everywhere. What we add every day. Normal thing we add. Let's say 37 plus 29. Just what? If I don't put base, that means that be base 10. All the things we do at home are all in base 10. All the normal, all, all the normal every day to day addition we do, they are all done in base 10. And if you are doing addition in base 10, don't forget to, if you are doing addition or subtraction in base 10, no number should be up to 10. You can remember that one. 7 is less than the base. 9 is less than the base. So let's see this one and let's add. 9 plus 7 is 16. I meant to put 16 down. But 16 is more than the base 10. So I cannot put 16 down. I want to say, how many of the base can I see in 16? How many of 10 can I see in 16? And I will say what? I will say 1. Only 1. Remainder what? 6. I put the remainder down and I carry 1. I carry 1. Let's go. 3 plus 2 is 5. Plus the 1 I'm carrying, making what? 6. I put 6 down. I put 6 down because it's not up to the base. You can see now the answer is what? 66 this thing. No number is up to 10. I repeat. 9 plus 7 is 16. You can't put 16 down because it's more than the base 10. I'm not saying how many of the base 10 can I see in 16? How many 10 can I see in 16? 1. Remainder 6. Put the remainder down. Carry the 1. 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. That's the answer. So if you want to do it normally in your room, you just say 7 plus 9, 16, 6. Remainder, remainder 1. Then 3 plus 2, that's 1. That's 6. six. But always take note that the 1 you are carrying is not 1, but is the base. The, you know what I'm saying? How many 10 do we have in 16? You said 1. Remember, that was 6. That 1 represents 10. That means I'm taking 10 out, out of 16. Remember, what? 6. This 1 represents the base. So 10. Remember, that was 6. You will see what I'm saying now. Okay, let's see. Let's see subtraction. 29. Yeah, watch. If we see it's actually 1, let's see now. Let's see. Yeah. 9 minus 7 is not possible. I'm, doing, I'm working in this thing. What we do every day? 9 plus 7 is. I mean, 9 minus. I'm doing my minus here. 9 minus 7 is not possible. I mean, I mean, 7 minus 9 is not possible. Because 7 is smaller than 9. 
I'm doing what we do, what we do every day. Don't be confused. You. What we do every day. I want to show you that what this one is not one. It's actually what ten. So let's see. We now say borrow one from ear to ear. Let's see what the devil is on this one. Borrow one from ear to ear. If you borrow one from ear to ear, what should this seven become? It should be eight. But they say borrow one from ear to ear. They will say making seventeen. Can you see now? That is not one. It's actually what it is. Ten. So borrow one to ear. If you borrow one from ear to ear, you'll be making what? Seventeen. So seventeen minus nine is what? Eight. It's eight. So what's left here now? You have borrowed one to ear. Here remains two. So two minus two, that's zero. So this what? This ten. So just know that what? When you when you say one, when you say take one, borrow one, you need to hold one. I mean, I mean, how many is it? I mean, I mean, 16. One. That one is 10. When you say borrow one, that one is the base. So what you borrow is always the base. What you borrow is always the base. Let us have it in mind that way. But yeah. If you have that in mind, let's carry out the following addition. We are carrying out the following addition. Number one. One, zero, one, one, one. Plus one, 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 one. This two, this two. If I were you, I will pause my video and I will first solve it. I will pause and I will solve it first. I will see if I can do it. If I were you, I will pause. So let's go. Let's solve it. Let's go. I want to, I want to add this. Let's go. One plus one is two. I can't put two down because the base is two. I can't put two down. You cannot put any number up to the base down. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. 2. You now say, how many of these 2 can you see in these 2? 1. Remember, nothing. Pay attention. No? 1 plus 1 is 2. You can't put 2 down because it's up to the base. No number should go up to the base. All numbers are less than the base. So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Yes, 2. I should not put 2 down. How many 2 can you see in 2? 1. Remember, 1. Carry the one, let's go. Carry the one, let's go. One plus one, two, plus the one you're carrying, making three. Can you put three down here? No, you can't put three down. You cannot put three down. You're not saying, how many twos can you see in three? One, remain down, one. So put the one down. Carry one again. One plus one is two, plus one is three. Is three. Can you put three down? No. How many two can you see in three? One. Remain that one. Put one down. Carry one. Zero plus one. One. Zero plus one. I mean two. Zero plus one. Two. See, this was zero. I mean, sorry. Zero plus one. One. Plus the one you are carrying. Making two. Look at this. Zero plus one. One. Plus the one you are carrying. Making two. You can't put two down. You can't put two down. You see, how many two can you see in two? One. Remain that. Zero, put zero, put the remainder down. Carry the one. One plus one, two, plus one, three. Three. You can't put three down. So, two in three, one, remainder, one. And the last one you are carrying, put it down. That's the answer. Let's do this one. One, 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 plus one, zero, one. Let's add this. Let's add this. One 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 zero one. Let's add it. Let's go. Please help me. Let's go. I give me to pause and check if you can, can get it. One plus one is two. The base is two also. The base is two. You can't put two down. So you now say how many twos do we have in two? One. Remember zero. Carry one. One plus zero. One plus one. Two. How many two can you see in two? One. Remember. Zero, carry one. One plus one, two. One plus one, two. Plus the one, three. How many two do you have in three? One. Remainder, one. Put the remainder down here because that's the last one. <coughs> Let's see this one. Let's look at this. If you have two, four, three, five, and you have three, two, four. You have base, base 6, base 6. I'm not adding in base 6 now. I want to add in base 6. Just watch me play. I want to add in base 6. The base is now 6, which means no number should be up to what to 6 again. 
No number should be up to six again. So let's go. Five plus four. Nine. Can you put nine down? No. How many six can you see in nine? One. Remainder three. Carry the one. You put the remainder down always. Let's go. One. Three plus two. Five. Plus one. Six. You can't put six down. No number should, up, should be up to six. So six. You can say six in six. One. Remainder zero. You carry one. Four plus three. Seven. Plus one. Eight. Can you put eight down? No. Six in eight. One. Remainder two. Carry one. Then two plus one. Three. Can see that all numbers here are less than six. That's how to add. That's how to add. For all bases, it doesn't matter the base, the, the base you put there for you. Any base, just from the principle that you put the remainder down always. Let's see subtraction. I've done one here for you. You can see it. Let's try and do some subtractions. Let's subtract. Let's subtract. If you have 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 0, 1. Okay, let's see. Let's see 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 0. Okay, let's, let's put it like this. 1, 1, 0, 0. Then 1, 1, 1. Let's subtract. Let's subtract this one. Yeah, look at it. 0, the base is 2, the base is 2. 0 minus 1 is not possible. 0 minus 1 is not possible. What do you do? You borrow, you borrow what? Let me put 1 here. You borrow 1. Just check the question. I've changed it. 1, 1, 1, 0. So you can begin on a, a similar question. So you can see now. 1, 1, 1, 0. This is 1, 1, 0. 1, 1, 1. So 0 minus 1 is not possible. What do you do? You borrow 1. You borrow 1 from here to here. Borrow this one here. When you borrow one, the one you borrow is the base. The one you borrow is the base and not the number. So you borrow one to here, you borrow the base. That's what one has come here. That's, that means you have brought two here now. This one is now two plus zero. That's now two. When you borrow, when you borrow from anywhere to anywhere, it's the base you are borrowing. That's the meaning, please. Take note. So you borrow one to here, and you borrow two. So two is now here. So two minus one is one. Nothing is remaining. When you borrow to here, here became two. So two minus one is one. So here is now zero. Nothing is here now. You have taken, you have borrowed one to this place. So here is now zero. This place is now zero because you have borrowed one here. So you have to borrow from here to here now. You have to borrow from here to here. Borrow from here to here. That's what. If you borrow from here to here, you are borrowing one, but it's two, we we'll call it, it's two. So two plus zero is now two. So two minus one is one also. Here is not left with what zero, but you have borrowed it. Here is left with zero, you have borrowed it. You have borrowed what was here, you have borrowed it here. You have borrowed what was here, you have borrowed it here. Now you are borrowing, this one is not left with zero. So you have zero minus one, it's not possible. So you now have what? Borrow one from here to here again. Borrow one from here to here. So this one you are borrowing is the base, that's two. So here it becomes two. It becomes two. So two minus one is one. And there's nothing left here. Zeros. This is the answer. If you subtract one, 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 zero minus one, 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 you get what? One, 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 two. This two. Let's see this one. If you have one, zero, one minus one, one. Let's do this way. Want to subtract? Just watch this. You have 1, 0, 1, minus 1, 1. I want to subtract. This is what? Base 2. Base 2. So let's go. So you have what? 1 minus 1. Yes, is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. If you think about it at all, you can see 0. 0 minus 1 is not possible. 0 minus 1 is not possible. You have to borrow from ear to ear. You borrow from ear to ear. When you borrow from ear to ear, you will see you are borrowing one, but it's the base that you are here. So you are, you are bringing two here now. Two plus zero is two. Two minus one is one. That's the answer. Okay, do this one for me. If you have two, three, four, five, minus, minus three, 
four, six. Okay, let's say three, five, six. Let's say base seven, base seven. Just watch, please. I'm subtracting in base seven now. I want to pay attention, please. I beg you, God's name, pay attention. I'm subtracting in base seven now. So let's go. Let's watch, everybody. Let's watch. Let's watch. Five minus six. Five minus six. We know it's not possible. You borrow one from here. You borrow one from you borrow one from here. Here we mean three. You borrow one to here. The one you borrow is seven. So here becomes twelve. You borrow one from here to here. Here becomes twelve. So you have twelve minus six. Twelve minus six is what six. The seven. Here remains three. Here remains three. You have borrowed one here. So let's borrow one from here to here. Because three minus five is not possible. So let's borrow one from here to here also. Let's borrow one from here to here. If you borrow one from here to here, you are borrowing seven. So seven comes here. That's what? Ten. Ten. So ten minus five is five. All we left here is two. Because you have borrowed one from here to here. That's two left here. So you want to say two minus three. It's not possible. Two minus three. It's not possible. So you borrow one from here. You know here it means two. After you borrow, you're taking one here. Here it means, you're taking one to here. Here it means what? Two. So you borrow one from here to here again. When you borrow one here, here becomes your borrowing, here it becomes nine. So nine minus three is what? Six. That's six five six the seven. Just go through it over and over. You understand it. Let's see multiplication. Right this. That's the last thing we are doing. Multiplication. 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 Let's write this. Multiplication. How do we multiply numbers in different bases? Multiplication. Let's see this one. One one base ten. I mean base two. I mean sorry. Times one o one base two. Let's multiply. It's simple. So you just say what? You just say one zero one. You say one one. How do we multiply? Times. So let's go. One times one one. One times zero zero. One times one one. Multiply. Then take this one now. One times one one. One times zero zero. One times one one. You are done. You have to add. That's the next thing you should do. You have to add. So what do you do? Bring this one down one. Bring this one down one. Bring it down one. Bring it down one. These two, this one goes straight. You are done. Okay, let's do this one. One 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 base two times one zero one base two. Let's do this. Let's do this. Can you see? One 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 zero one. One times one one. You only start on that it. On that one times one 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 times one 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 times one one. That's all. And zero on that this one. Zero times one zero. Zero times one zero. Zero times one, zero. That's all. The last one. One times one should be under here. One. One times one should be under here. One. One times one should be under here. One. You have. So what do you have? This what? One. This what? One. Now here. One plus zero plus one is two. But well, you can't put two here because the base is two. So one plus zero plus one is two. No. So two. You now say how many of the big can you see? How many two is in two? One. Remember one. So put one down and carry one. And then let's go. Zero plus one. One plus one. Two. You can't put two down. So what do you do? You can't put two down. What do you do? You say two in two. One. Remember one. Carry one again. One plus nothing. That's one. That's plus one. Two. You can't put two down. You can't put two down. Is there any mistake somewhere? There's a mistake somewhere, okay? Let's recheck this. One. One. One plus one. One plus one is what? Two. Two into one. I mean that zero. I mean you put the remainder down. Carry one. Zero plus one. One plus one. Two. Two into one. I mean that zero. Carry one. This one plus one. Two. Two into one. I mean that what? Zero. And the last one. That's it. So let's see this one. I ask you to multiply this for me. Watch. Two, three, four, base five times. Just watch. Just watch. Two, three, four, base five times one, two. 
Okay, let's say times one, three, base five also. If they are in different bases, you convert them to base ten. I've taught you how to convert. If they are in the same base, go ahead and do your work. So let's go. Two, three, four, base five times one, three, base five, multiply. Let's go, human beings. <coughs> three times four is twelve. Three times four is twelve. You cannot put twelve down. Five in twelve, two. Remainder two. So carry two. Three times three, nine. Plus two, eleven. You can't put eleven down. Five and eleven, two. Remainder one. Three times two, six. You are carrying what before? You have this. This is three times four is twelve. We put two down, we that two. Three times three, nine. We put two down, that's eleven. Five and eleven, two, we that one. I mean now, we are carrying what? Two. Five and eleven is two. So three times two, six. Six plus two, that's eight. You can't put eight down. So five and eight, one, remain that three. We put the last one down. You can cross check. I've told you there's any mistake, you have to cross check very well. So that, that's end of three. Then one under this list. One times four, four is not to five. One times three, three is not to five. One times two, two is not to five. That's it. You add. So you have two. Four plus one is five. Abi, five and five, one. Remainder, zero. Carry one. Three plus three, six plus one, seven. You can't put seven down. Five and seven, one. Remainder, what? Two. Carry the one. One plus two, three plus this, four. This is it in this five. Okay? You can see that. So, let's do the last one. Okay, let's do some examples from Waek. Some examples from Waek. Some examples from Waek, please. Let's not waste time. Some examples from Waek. These are from Waek. <coughs> right, please. By how much? By how much? You can even you can listen and write it down. By how much? By how much? By how much is one one zero 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 base two? One one zero 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 base two greater or less than greater or less than greater or less than one 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 base two times one one base two is it greater or less than it? <coughs> That's why I question. That's why I question. By how much is this? By how much is this greater or less than this? What it means are what this one is a number. This one we'll get this one as a number first. I mean now let's get the answer of this. Let's see what is one one one. So let's see. Let's see, one, 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 times one, one. We want to multiply. So let's go. This is a question. So let's go. One times one, one. One times one, one. One times one, one. One times one, one. You wonder this also. One times one, one. One times one, one. You add one. One plus one, two. You don't put two down because it's base two. So two in two, one remain that zero. One plus one, two plus one, three. Okay, three in two, one remain that one, carry one. One, one plus one, two, put zero down, carry the one here. Okay, this is what? So check. Which one is greater? Let's call this one A. Let's call this one B. So check. This is a number. You say, uh, by how much is this greater or less than this? By how much is this greater or less than this? So what it means is that what if you check, is this even greater or less than this? Well, we multiply this two. This is what we get. This is one one zero one one zero. This is what one o one. They are both five digit number. They are both five digits. So this one one. This is eleven. This is what ten. So this is greater than this. So you say you say what you say a is one one zero zero zero. 
B that we got, what we call B, this one, is 101, 01. Y X says you should first tell them if it's greater or less. That's the question. By how much is this greater or less? You first tell them which one is greater, which one is what less. So you can see that what? A is greater than B because it's 1, 1. This is like 11. This is like 10. This 2, this 2. A is greater than B. How much? By how much? How much means what? How much means A minus B? By how much is 10 greater than 5? No, by how much is 10 greater than 3? That means what? 10 minus 3. That's 7. By how much is 15 more than 12? That's 15 minus 12. That's 3. I mean, so by how much is this greater than this? So this is greater than this, not, not less or greater. It's now confounded greater. So you have what? A minus B. So what is your A? To, to subtract now, you say bigger one and a smaller one. That would be 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, minus. To know how much greater. So let's go. This is why 0 minus 1 is not possible. That will borrow 1 from here to here. You don't have anything to borrow. Here has nothing. It has nothing. You can't borrow from here. Here also has nothing. You can't borrow from here. Here has 1. You have to take 1 to here. Take this 1 here. Here now becomes 2. I mean, take 1 from here, this 2 now. Take 1 here also. Here becomes 2. Here has reduced to 1. Take 1 from here to here. Here becomes 2. Here has become 1. Don't forget. See how you borrowed it. It's clear. Now. See how you borrowed it. See how you borrowed it. You should have said, you should have borrowed from here to here, but this one has nothing, here has nothing. So the first borrowing will start from here. So see the board. See the board. See the board. You have to borrow from here to here, but there's nothing. Borrow from here to here, there's nothing. Borrow from here to here, here will become two. When you first borrow it, you borrow here to here, here becomes two. You now borrow from this two to this one. Here remain one. Here becomes two now. Here becomes two. You now borrow from this two to this one. Here remains one. Here remain, here becomes two. I mean, uh, and here becomes zero because you have borrowed the only one that it has. Okay. So you have two minus one. Two, two minus one is what? One. This is remain one. One minus zero is one. One minus one is zero. Zero minus zero is zero. This is also zero. 1 minus 1 is 0, so this is the answer, 11. You have to watch it. This is 11. This is 11. <coughs> That's 11, base 2. Because if you have 5, 11, it's called 2, base 2. Just check the way I borrowed what I borrowed. Okay? Now, let's see another question from YF. Another one from YF. Another one from Y. Another one from Y. Right. Okay. Let's not let's not do that one for now until we do quadratic equation. Okay, let's go to uh, modular arithmetic. Let's do modular arithmetic. Modular arithmetic, modular arithmetic. Let's see that. Okay. So that's the next thing, modular arithmetic. Okay. Now, if I ask you to carry out, they are, they are very close to each other. This and uh, what's it called? 
this one and number B are very close to each other. If I carry out an addition in mode, let's say eight, I carry out either addition, subtraction, or whatever, whatever operation. I carry out multiplication either in modulo, modulo what? Eight or ten, anyone you like, yeah. Okay? It means that what? There is no number. No number on that, I mean, in that operation should be up to the, uh, the mode. We call it what? Modulo arithmetic. If you are doing your multiplication addition in modulo 8, that means that what now? No number in your answer should be up to that word 8, just like numbers, number base. So this is just like a further example in number base. So let's see a white person on modular arithmetic straight. I don't need to waste time on that at all. Just like this. Copy and complete the following table. Right, please. Copy and complete the following table. This is a Y question. Y number two question. Copy and complete the following table. For multiplication, for multiplication in modulo 11. For multiplication in modulo 11. Please, let's watch this. For multiplication in modulo 11. So they gave us this table. Please, you are writing. We are giving this table to copy and complete. When you are asked to copy and complete a table, it means you must copy what they give you after it's completed. You must still repeat it, copy and complete. That means what? You complete it, you first copy what they give to you, that's this like this, complete it, and now reproduce the computer table. So in this case, what you are actually copying is, uh, will be completed in what you have copied already. This is what you have copied. It will be completed here also. This was what they gave you. They are, they are missing this, 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 this. They are missing them out. So let's do my B part. That's A part. That's A part. The B part. The truth set of the truth set of the truth set of one. Ten equals two. Two. N N equals four. So ten times N equals two. N times N equals four in modulo eleven. So they are, they are asking to find the set M and I'll find the set what N, the true set of this. Don't forget that they call it a set, not the value. If it's a set, you must put it in the what? In the normal symbol for set. When you find the answer, you must put it in the symbol of set. Okay? Now, let's go. Let's go. So what do you have here? Look at the board, please. Look at the board. I want to find question one says you should copy and complete this. That's A. B says you should find the truth. The truth set of this. We don't need to do any story on this. It's a direct topic. It's a direct topic. There's nothing to do on it. It's just like number base. So this is modulo what? Just check it. Modulo 11. Modulo 11. Which means that what? What you? Modulo 11 means that what? No number should be up to 11 on the table. That's the meaning. No number should be up to what? 11 on the table. So let's go. Let's carry out the multiplication. It's a multiplication, they said it. They said copy and multiplication in modulo words 11. So let's let's multiply. Let's start to do it. Watch. 1 times 1 is 1. It's not 11. 1 times 5 is 5. It's not 11. 1 times 9 is 9. It's not 11. 1 times 10 is 10. It's not 11. Let's go. 5 times 1 is 5. It's not 11. 5 times 5 is 25. That's more than 11. You now say, how many 11 can you see in 25? That is what? 2. That's 22. Remember what? 3. 5 times 9 is 45. 5 times 9 is 45. You now check, how many 11 can you see in 45? That's 4. That's 44. Remember 1. 
you put the meter down always. Five times ten is fifty. Five times ten is fifty. How many a level can you see in fifty? That's forty-four. It means what? Six. Six. It means six. Forty-four. That's four elevens. Four elevens. That's forty-four. It means six. Put the meter down. Let's do it again. Nine times one is nine. It's not eleven. Nine times five is forty-five. Abi, how many forty? How many eleven can we see in forty-five? Four. That's forty-four. Remember one. Nine times nine. That's eighty-one. How many eleven can we see in eighty-one? That should be what? Eleven in eighty-one. That should be eleven. That's seventy-seven. If you see seven of that, that's seventy-seven. Seventy-seven from what? Eighty-one. I mean, that what? Four. Just check what I'm doing. Nine times ten is ninety. How many eleven can we see in ninety? We see eight. Just divide eleven by ninety. We see eight. It remain, it remain what? That's eighty-eight. Eight times eleven is eighty-eight. We have two. It remain, it remain two. Ten times one is ten. It's not eleven. Ten times five is fifty. Ten times five is fifty. How many eleven can we see in fifty? How many eleven? Can see what? Can see four. If you see four, that's forty-four. To remain what? Six. Have you now? Ten times nine is ninety. Just divide ninety by eleven. You will see what? Eight. Eight means eighty-eight. It will remain two. To be to be to be ninety. Ten times ten is hundred. How many eleven can we see in hundred? It will be nine. It will be nine eleven. That's ninety nine times eleven. That's ninety nine. You mean what one? So that's that. So you have you have lost what you have copied and completed the thing. Is copied and completed. Let's not see the truth sets. The B part. It says ten times n give us what two. So ten times ten and what? We give us two. Let's go. Ten and what we give us two on the board. Ten and what we give us two. See, ten and one give us ten. Ten and five give us six. Ten and nine give us two. So it's actually ten and nine. Ten times nine in modulo eleven is what we give us two. Just watch it very well. This is ten. Ten times one is ten. Ten times five is six. Ten times nine is two. Ten times ten is one. So ten times what? See the what? And ten times what? We give us two. That be ten times nine from the table. That means m equals nine. Why I put it in this in this symbol? Because it sets a truth set. Once you want to call it set, you must put inside this word parentheses. Because it says set. If they have set value. I will say m equals what nine. So ten times m is two. Ten times nine is two. I mean ten ten two two. Then m and nine. I mean m is nine. Let's do the next one. Number two. Number two. It says n and n will give us four. N and n will give us what four. Let me tell you. Hey, what and what that will be the same thing? You know, this is the same thing as this. I mean. They are the same thing. That's n n x x y y. That means what you have here and here must be the same thing. What and what together give us four. Let's go. One one cannot give us four. One five. So out out. Can I see one one again? Five five give us three. No. Nine nine give us four. Can you see? Only nine and nine and give us four. Ten and ten give us one. One and one give us one. Five and five give us three. Nine and nine give us four. Ten and ten give us one. So it's only what nine and nine that can give us four. It's only nine times nine that will give us four. Don't forget, you know what you have here and here must be the same thing. So you say one one is one. Five five is three. Five nine, sorry, one one is one. You have to be the same thing. Five five is three. You can't say five nine because five and nine are the same thing. Five five is three, nine and nine is four, ten and ten is one. 
So the only two number that gave us four is just what nine nine. Is that okay now? Just watch that, please. It's not a it's not a difficult topic at all. This how to complete the table. Let's see one last question. Then we call it we call it a day for today. The next class will continue with us. So let's see this one. Don't forget you express your answer. N is nine. Express as a set. Please, it's clear. The table is clear, just like what we did in number base. That's why I didn't want to explain anything at all in modular. Once they say module, can we call module? They can say they can say two times five in mode mode seven. Two times five in mode seven. Can somebody tell me the answer? What will two times five in mode seven give us? Now, the two times five is what ten. Because you are working in mode seven, you put the remainder word down. So two times five is ten, but you cannot put ten down. You now say what in mode seven? That means how many seven can you see in that ten? One remainder three. So this answer three. So two times ten in mode seven is simply what three. So you can see one times one in mode eleven is one. Five times five in mode eleven is three. Five times nine in mode eleven is one. Just take note. You will get a lot of assignment on the WhatsApp that will send to you. A lot of assignment you will do. Take this one down as the last question for today. Take this one down. Please write. Please write. The operation. The operation, please write. The op this operation, this triangle, the operation triangle is defined on the set, is defined on the set, is defined on the set T equals, on the set T equals 2, 3, 5, 7. 2, 3, 5, 7. By, I come again, the operation this. Is defined on the set this by x star y equals x plus y plus x y mode eight in mode eight. Don't forget it's mode eight. That means every operation you are doing here must be done in mode eight. Everything will be done in mode word 8. That is, you fill this answer and present the answer in mode word 8. So let's go. Let's go. Question 1. Question 1. Construct. Construct 1. Number 1. Construct modulo 8 table for the operation. Construct modulo 8 table for the operation this. This operation. On the set T. On the set T. Construct modulo 8 table. The table I showed you before, the same table. Construct modulo 8 table for the operation this. On the set T. Number two. Number two. Use the table. Use the table. Use the table to find. Use the table to find A two five seven B two star and I got I call this star it's triangle just call it star okay because five star seven here means you should find N here means you find the value of n. 2 star n equals 5 star 7. What is n? I call it, I just call it star. I just call it star. I call it, I call it operation triangle. 2 triangle n equals 5 triangle 7. So find that n. Here it says what? 2 triangle, 5 triangle, 7. You first can find this on the table. Like when I gave you, that table I gave you before. If I ask you, watch, 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 watch. This table you want to construct. Watch it. Is This is the function. The, the operation, the, the set T is what? 2 
three, five, seven. Two, three, five, seven. So this operation is a missed operation. Plus is there, times is there. So you, you do what? This is your, you can call this one your X. You can call everything in your X. Call everything in your Y. That is what? If you start with this one now, it will be two. That is what? If you take this one, X, Y. If you, take, if you say X, Y, two, two, this one, to find the answer here. You put S as 2, put Y as 2. When you get here now, you form it. If you, if you, when you get, when you, when you say two, S is 2 here, or Y is 2, anyone you, call anyone you like S, call anyone you like Y, anyone you like, call it S, anyone you like, call it Y. Let's say this is what? S is 2, Y is 2. You now say what? 2 plus 2 plus 2 times 2. That is what? 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 4. That's what? 8. When you do this one, when you add all, you have, you have picked S as 2, Y as 2. When you add, just watch it, you have picked here, you pick this S, you pick this as X equals 2, you pick here as Y equals 2. So you have what? S is 2, Y is 2, 2 times 2, that's what? 4 plus 4, that's what? 8. Will you put 8 down here? That's the question. Will you put 8 down there? That's the question. Will you put 8 down there? That's the question. You are going to put what? Zero. You put zero down. Abi? Why will you put zero down? Why will you put zero down? Because it's modulo eight. The answer you got was eight. You got what? Eight. So you cannot put eight down here because this table is modulo what? Eight. You now say, how many eight do you have in eight? That's what? How many? One. Remain that zero. So the next one, you have already fixed here as x, as two. We have quite here what? The next y. This x is 6 as 2. This is the next y now. So 2 and 3 now. 2 and 3. That's what? 2 and 3. You have done 2 and 2. You do 2 and 3. You do 2 and 5. You do 2 and 7. So 2 and 2 gave us this. 2 and 2 gave us this. Now do 2 and 3. That's 2 and 3. You do 2 and 5. You do 2 and 7. When you are done, you do 3 and 2. You do 3 and 3. 3 and 5. 3 and 7. When you are done, do 5 and 2, 5 and 3, 5 and 7, 5 and, 5 and 5, 5 and 7, and 7 and 2, 7 and 3. You can leave this for you as assignment. This is what you sent to me today after the class. This is what you sent to me. I want to see what you do to this, okay? So that's assignment one, number two, please. Number two assignment. So you construct the table for me and give me the answer to these questions, okay? Number two, we don't have time for now. When we start the class proper, we have to create enough time. The class has not started properly. You know that. All these people. Okay. So, please one number two, right? Assignment number two, yes. Assignment number two, also from Waheg. Assignment number two. Assignment number two. Right. If one, two, four, base n equals two, three, two, base five, find n. To find n. To find n. I will tell you what n is, okay? Okay, so just let us, let's conclude here for today. Let's stop here for today, okay? Uh, it's an hour class, so when we start our two hour class, our three hour classes, you will enjoy more of this. So let's stop here for today. Please do these two assignments. You have 1, 2, 4, base n equals 2, 3, 2, base 5, 5 n. All you do is will convert all the base to base 10, but you face the quadratic equation here. You have to know the quadratic equation. So please, please follow the class. Follow the class at all times. Follow the times of the class 
and I'll show you the words. Your A is sure in that YEG. This is Agenda Yahoo Tutorials. You can see, if you want to reach us for your live online classes, you can call the number. You can always arrange live classes for you, okay? So, we continue in the next class. Stay safe and don't go anywhere. Thank you.